Word of nasty weather didn't stop this beachgoer from enjoying his Monday morning at Ipau Beach. I didn't even know there's a tropical storm coming. Jigo resident Skeji Resen barbecuing with his friends. They're just enjoying life right now. Whatever comes, whatever comes. But weather officials say beachgoers and mariners should stay out of the water. It's the calm before a potential storm brewing over the Marianas and nearing Guam. We've been watching this invest area 95W, this tropical disturbance, for the better part of a week now. National Weather Service meteorologist Landon Eidlitz says the tropical disturbance could arrive as soon as Tuesday afternoon or night. But the big thing we're concerned about is now a multi-day rain event. We're going to be dealing with potentially moderate to heavy showers with this disturbance as it pushes through the Mariana Islands. But then once it gets past us, we could be dealing with a lot of monsoon showers. The bad weather may develop into a tropical cyclone or depression within the next 24 hours. He says the time to prepare is now. The big concerns for you out there would be banana trees. If you have any bananas growing on those trees, make sure they're secured or uh, propped up with posts, but also tents, canopies and tarps and loose trash can bin. So secure those items or just take them down and in, inside uh, today. A flood watch also in effect through Thursday afternoon. That means watch out for flood prone areas like Tumon Bay, Polaris Point and Route 4 near Pago Bay. Be mindful if you're going to be driving, if you have errands in the next couple days, that we could have some heavy rainfall. And if too much falls in too short time, there will be uh, flooded streets and flooded low-lying areas. Critical infrastructures like the island's only public hospital also preparing for any potential flooding or leaks. As everyone knows, this is an old building, so we can't completely eradicate the possibility that we're going to have leaks. Uh, you know, we just do the, the best we can. We prepare as best we can, just like any resident here in Guam. GMH Public Information Officer Cindy Hansen says there are protocols ready to put in place should the weather worsen like calling in pregnant mothers or asking visitors to stay home. We always take care of the patients first. Um, if we have to move patients around, if, you know, God forbid it starts to rain or leak in certain areas, you know, we have our patient couriers and, and, and our supervisors and the, and the nursing heads who are all, you know, they'll all be monitoring it if this is all, if it gets worse. Meantime, the NWS assures this won't be another Typhoon Mawar. People are still... Uh, dealing with PTSD from a war, as, as our people in the CNMI regarding Super Typhoon U2, which was almost six years ago. But this will not be a typhoon. That is the, the good news. Good news for Reston and his friends, though for now, they see it as just another day in the Marianas. So we enjoy typhoon. We like showering under it. Mitsuki Hariyama, KUAM News.